What is up everyone? Night Fury here from Tales of the Tome, going back into Pokemon Academy Life Forever. Now, we just got back from rescuing Will from the forest, and he seemed very grateful to be back, especially uh, with Nurse Miriam. So, um, we still have Tia and Sabrina to go out and rescue. We are unfortunately waiting for someone to come uh, at Ness's behest. On Thursday to help us rescue Sabrina, which it sounds like after how long it took me to save Will, I'm guessing that we're going to need it. But uh, it's a new day and we're probably going to try and rescue Tia tonight, so we will be doing that. Now, let us begin our new day. <clears throat> Morning, man. Hmm. Wait, what's wrong? It's nothing. Go on, you can tell me. Okay, it, it's a silly thing, but like, remember how on Monday I said we needed to talk and we should do that Tuesday morning? Yeah. Oh, crap. Sorry. I remember now. I didn't mean to ghost you, man. I just had so much going on. I'm super sorry about that. It's fine. I mean, I know how busy you are, but... Man, never mind. Just ignore me. I'm whining about nothing. I could have talked to you and gotten this over with days ago. <sighs> what do you mean? <clears throat> you want to go for a run? I thought you'd never ask. Oh man, it's been so long since I went running anywhere. This was an awful idea. I gotta tap out, coach. I'm done for. Um, what? Ethan, we haven't even started yet. This was just a jog to the fields. This is where we start running. My previous statement stands. Huh. Come on, you're gonna be alright. Take my hand. Huh. Huh. Wow, it's totally different from when you did it. When, when you do it, then when Calamari did it. Huh. Thanks. I'm still not running, though. Yeah, I'll work on you. Huh. Anyway, what did you want to talk about? Right, that. Huh. Okay, so, there's no easy way to say this, but I think I'm the one causing these frenzied Pokemon? What? Well... Why do you think that? So, I told you that I think I also have Frenergy, right? Yeah. Well, that means the Pokemon and people can sense your feelings and your intent, right? That's what Oak said to me. Oh, don't, don't do this now. Don't. Oh, for feck's sake. Because that's just going to mean more problems while I'm recording. That's what Oak said to me. Well, you're a happy, cheerful guy. But, you know, Pokemon are sensitive. When their trainer is in a bad mood, they get nervous, flighty, aggressive, because they don't know what to do, right? So, what if there was a guy who had for energy and, you know... He had a bad day! Or four. But you don't seem to be having bad days. Huh, that's the plan, my guy! <laughs> uh, hmm. But yeah, I guess the Pokemon are more perceptive. Or maybe Frenergy like amplifies the effect or AoE or whatever. Ethan? I just kind of felt like, I don't know. <clears throat> That I needed to fess up, take responsibility or something. Actually, you know, this is a weird question. Did you ever see a Nine Tails on the campus grounds? Yeah, I battled it, but it got away. Huh, something getting away from you? Seems weird. I'm not trying to catch them all, man. Well, in a way, that's kind of a relief. A relief? 
How come? Guess you'll have to find out when you rank up my relationship. Man, Blue's kinda right. I don't get most of the things you say. Most of them are video game references. Sometimes I like to pretend I'm in a video game. Turns to stare at the audience. Why? Because if I'm right, whatever fourth dimensional being is watching is going to be freaked the hell out. <laughs> I'm not sure freaking out fourth dimensional beings is a great idea. What are they going to do? Turn off their computer? Don't tempt me, Ethan. Nah, that doesn't seem likely. Maybe they'll just delete your character file. <sighs> yeah, maybe. Anyway, I think I lost the point I was trying to make. But, uh, I think I'm the one creating the frenzies. Fierce opposing entities. Oh, that's what we're calling them? I'm trying to make it happen, yeah. Stop trying to make foe happen. It's not gonna happen. Wait, you distracted me again! You're trying to f feel guilty about this. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. STOP! The f was that? No, it's. STOP! If it'll happen, it's not gonna happen. Wait, you distracted me again. You're trying to feel guilty. Oh, for fuck's sake! You're trying to make me feel guilty about this, and I'm not. For. F Why does it keep doing that? Alright, I don't know what it said, and I don't care. I've tried to stop it multiple times. Dev, here's a mistake. I don't know what to do about it. So I didn't get to read that. Anyway, you're trying to feel guilty about this, and I'm not going to let you. Even if you did make the foes, you obviously didn't do it on purpose. And none of them are too much of a threat yet. I don't know. Neither do I, so let's just keep our chins up, alright? This turns out to be a problem. We're surrounded by the smartest professors and strongest trainers in the world. Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, I fought three of those crazy Pokemon in the forest yesterday, and I don't think you were anywhere near there. Well, what? Three frenzies at once? Yeah, they were weaker than normal, though. Professor Will was controlling them. Uh, should we call the cops? Nah. He also was being controlled, probably. Wild, it's puppets all the way down. Back to school? We can snag some breakfast before our homerooms. Yeah, let's... Huh? Oh, hey, Don. Hi, guys. I was trying to sound casual. Keep workshopping it, but it's not a bad start. Hey, Don, what's up? We haven't had much time to talk since the battle during the QQs. Right. I've been thinking about it a lot, and I think I want to start over. Huh? I've been talking with Lysia, and I think I'm going to join the Coordinator Club. Well, I mean, most of the reason she stayed here was to teach me how to be a better coordinator, so I think that goes without saying. But I feel like my choice this time... I feel like it was my choice this time, at least. Our battle reminded me how much I loved the beginning of my journey, when it was just my Pokémon and I, learning to really battle, and... I missed that. So I'm starting over. I've got a new team, I've got a new strategy, and... To be honest, I think I should probably have been paying better attention in class. I thought I was beyond all this, but our battles really made me realize that I skipped the fundamentals. No wonder I couldn't beat Cynthia. What's she like? I mean, she's the strongest trainer in the world, obviously, but what's she like as a person? She's nice, humble, 
You wouldn't expect her to be humble on account of how crazy strong she is, but she really is. She does this weird thing where she asks you to do stuff for her all the time though, even if you don't really know her. But she usually gives you something nice afterwards. If you do it. Huh, she's so good a trainer that she even trains the people around her. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're totally right. That's exactly what she was doing. I never even thought of it like that. <laughs> That's the strongest woman in the world for you. Yeah, I thought... Well, never mind. Well, what are you doing here? Oh, I just finished adding to my new team. There are a bunch of ice types up near Argent Mountain, so I thought I'd hike up there and round out my team before classes start. In that outfit? It's a Sinnoh thing. It gets so cold in Sinnoh, everywhere feels like Alola. Actually, a long, long time ago in Sinnoh, it was meant to be even colder. I bet someone from back then would be really hot in our climate. Still a short skirt. H Hiccup, you're my rival now. And although I enjoyed our battle, I can't forget that you beat me. So, um, for beating me, I'll beat you back. Right here, right now. I if that's alright with you. Sure, why not? I mean, if you're going with ice types, I've got a couple of good ones. Oh, okay. Yes, this is it. A new start. Just a quick question. Your previous team, you're, uh... You're not using that, are you? No, I'm keeping my Altaria with me as a sort of mascot for my team. But I won't be using him in battles, not for a while anyway. Until the rest of my Pokemon catch up. Sounds good. I wasn't looking forward to facing him again so soon. Do you have a battle type you'd like? Uh, I'll let you choose. Y yes, yes I can. A triple battle then. Okay. Let's go. Sure. Frigibax. I don't know what that is. She caught the Alolan Ninetales. Oh, okay. Well, uh... Let's... Put this Ninetales out. I'll try... Fury Cutter, and let's get... Actually, let's do Will-O-Wisp on the swine up. Bodica's paralyzed. Okay. Hang on, is that what... Jeez, okay. Alright, let's get Mozart back in. Because he's going to go down this turn if I don't. Let's do... Let's try out Leshy. Oh, or he could die in one hit. Cool, that's awesome. Try 
Okay, this nine tails is a problem. Gotta get rid of that. Let's try trick or treating on it. And let's see here. It'll do 17 versus. Let's try Will O Wisp actually. This was a mistake. I don't think I'm going to win this one, guys. <sighs> yeah, I'm not winning this one. Yep, that figures. Pikachu's liberation limit increased by three. Cool, every... hang on. I, did somebody level up? I don't know. Anyway. Y yes I won! Um, you're not too mad, are you? Not at all. That was a great battle. I can't believe you only just caught these Pokémon. Thanks. My Altari is trying to teach me to teach them to be serious battlers. I am I owe him a lot. Yeah, good job you two. I noticed you've got a nine tails on your team, Don. Yes, I just caught it. It seems really powerful. Actually, was it just me or was it looking at you during that fight? Yeah, probably imagining things. <laughs> Nothing like that would have why it would Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, we should probably head back to school now, right? Oh, that's right. Homeroom's gonna start soon. Th thanks, you two. Bye. We're we're all going the same way, aren't we? Yeah, just a bit. And that brings us to the tragedy of the Galarian fossil fusions. Though violent and ill-suited for life in the modern era, extremely talented trainers have shown that it is possible to rein and train them like a modern Pokemon. The trainer who led this charge is of course of led this charge of course was Galarian's own undefeated champion Leon. Though prevailing opinion of these unfortunate fossils what they was that they had no hope for a semi-normal life, his efforts to rehabilitate them to the modern era paved the way for many other trainers' success stories. That being the case, it is still quite illegal to make any more, so don't get any ideas. Now, go to your next classes. I'll see you this afternoon. Oh boy. Okay. Let's take a quick look at my Pokemon. All right, cap is 22. Okay, so the cap's pretty high for... most everybody. What are my trades at? Hmm. Hang on. How did I get my fairy type to 5.5? I thought I only went to class once. Oh well. I'm not going to complain. Now, let's see here. I think... I need my bugs to level up at least once. So I'll do bug classes first. Ethan, hiccup! General studies... 
Morning, students. Inspiration. Isn't it great? Let's talk about being inspired. Class proceeds without incident. Class is over. Points with everybody. Proficiency is now 18. So everyone prepares to leave. The intercom comes on. Hello! This is Dean Drayden. This is a reminder that all access to the forest is prohibited to students not engaged in official duties. Expulsion is a likely punishment for rule breaking. This message will be repeated and self-destruct in five seconds. Gym class, who am I going to lose against today? And that's why maintaining weather conditions should always be your number one priority. Overwriting your opponent's weather with your own is a two for one. Now, let's get into the battles. Hiccup, you will be battling Wallace. What? That, that's Wally. Actually, it's not short for anything. Just Wally. Oh, hey, Wally! I think Yellow mentioned you. Y yeah, she mentioned you too. Of course, I uh, knew about you before the form the Frenergy thing. So, yeah, sorry. You probably didn't want to think about that again. <laughs> sorry. It's kind of unavoidable. Yeah, I guess. This guy seems uncomfortable around me. Or maybe he's just uncomfortable in general. Uh, let's mention the psychic classes. I saw what you did for the psychic type students at lunch yesterday. What? Oh my gosh, Senpai noticed me. That was cool. Everyone else was ready to throw up their hands and wait for someone else to figure it out, but you organized a table and got everyone to study together. I... I mean... Anyone would have done it. Nah, and even if that's true, you're the one who did do it. G Thanks, senpai. You're so cool. I wish I was more like you. Well, let's just... Let's just do our battle then, okay? Alright, Wally, what do you got for me? Huh. That's an interesting lineup. Okay. Well, let's kill some Beto. Fury Cutter. Do -do -do. Wish I had something a little stronger than Ember at this point. Badoo. Mozart wants to learn Sing, but Mozart already knows four moves. So sing puts them to sleep, which could be good, and I'm not using Bide anymore since... Yeah, I haven't used Bide for a while, so let's get rid of that. Skitty, huh? Ah, oh, for feck's sake. Alright, I think it's time to switch you out. For shock jaw. Continue to use Fury Cutter. I swear if this doesn't work, I'm going to switch out for someone else. There we go. Hang on, does this do anything? Paralyzes the opponent. Which... I don't know if effects can be doubled up 
in this game. Shark Jaws asleep. Fury Cutter. All right, we won. Ugh, man, that figures. What? Come on, give me a little <laughs> credit. You're the guy who can make Pokemon listen to him instantly. You've got that special Pikachu that can change types and beat an Altaria four times its level. There's no way I could win. <laughs> mm, well, I'll see you around. Give him advice. Hold on. What? Maybe you're right. I've got a few more advantages here, but you're not taking advantage of all your advantages. For a moment, it's unclear how Wally is taking this. You're concerned you'd insulted him, but then... Uh, would you mind explaining more? I only recently got into Pokemon, and I think I might not understand them as well as you. It's no problem, man. Thank you. Wally pulls out a polytoed themed notepad and begins scribbling something on it, looking up at you expectantly. Well, the first thing is that you're spreading your types too far apart. With your five Pokemon, you've only got one overlapping type, and that's normal on your Swablu and Skitty. Okay, okay. Most of the time, you want to limit yourself to a small number of types until you've got a solid grasp on what your Pokemon at that level can do. When all your Pokemon are on track for the level you should probably be, that's when you start spreading out. Oh, okay. I get that. <coughs> but go deep before I go wide. Yeah, that's why your Pokemon are a bit under-leveled right now. Uh, the second thing, that is, none of your Pokemon have any special moves that our elective teachers can teach them. Okay, I've heard about those moves, but they didn't seem like they were worth it. None of them even do damage, right? None of... The ones you get for passing the first exam do, but later ones will. But damage isn't everything. If a move gives you an extra opportunity to attack, using it is just as good as... is just as good a use of your time as attacking twice. Often better, because it might give you more opportunities later on in the battle. Okay. I Yes, I get it, Al. That makes sense. But thanks for telling me this stuff. I'm sure it must seem very basic to you, but it means a lot to me. Hey, I'm just happy to help. Once you nail down, once you nail down some of those issues, I'm sure you'll be an awesome battler. Oh, gee, thanks. Ugh, you're so cool, senpai. <laughs> Look at that freak picking on the sick kid. Hey, you. <coughs> be quiet. Hiccup was just battling seriously. That's what any trainer should do. Whatever. <laughs> Guess you're getting a lot of that, huh? I don't always get someone standing up for me. Well, that means a lot. Thanks. <laughs> it's alright. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> alright, that'll be it for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hiccup! Hey, what's up? I need to know, that Pikachu of yours, what's it about? My dad's been absolutely dragging me for answers, and all I can do is just keep telling him I have no idea. Oh, right, Professor Birch would be interested in that. Uh, okay, well, here's the gist. You give me a short description of Shockjaw's new power. Shock and amazement. Wow, I never would have expected that. Yeah, I was pretty surprised too. Was that all though? Oh, no, no, there was one more thing. Um, I think some of Brandon's stuff ended up in your new dorm. Yeah. Okay, great. Would you mind looking around for a hot pink suitcase in there? I've got some stuff that's really important to Brandon and I. Sure. Does Brendan want to just drop by the dorm this evening? I could pass it off to him. Sure, which dorm? 25. Ooh, you got one of the fancy suites. Uh, Erica told Brendan that the dorms underneath 50 are fancy. Double-sized four-bedroom, bigger kitchens. Must be nice. It's not bad. Uh, maybe you should come over with Brendan so you can check it out. 
Oh, I'd love to, but after class, I have coordinator club. It used to be a really stress-free thing, but ever since Lysia became our new club advisor, she's been working us to the bone. How can a girl so cute be so mean? Brandon only got out of it because one of my pro pyrotechnics shot him in the face while we were practicing our routines. Guess she just takes her job seriously. It's about time that every other club gets to feel what we battle team members are going through. I guess I should be thankful to Caleb for getting her onto the team. Oh, but sometimes I really wish he'd just been like every other politician and not done anything he should he said he would. I'm sure he appreciates knowing he stands out like that. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some lunch. Alright, enjoy. Sure, won't be as good as your cooking, though. Sure. Alright, who do we want to hang out with today? Where are we at with people? Okay, got a scene with Skyla. Okay. And Whitney. Alright, alright. Hmm... I'll bet if I can get some extra points with, say, hang on, is this going down with Sabrina? No, it, no, it's just been like that for a while. Okay, I'll bet if I try to get some extra points with Dawn, you know, yeah. The Med Independent, was it? Yes, here we go. Professor Cherry's tutoring fire types. I'll just hang with Dawn. Don't mind me. Yeah, okay, I guess that's fine. I could use a study partner as well. Let's do fairy types since I'm at 5.5. Dawn studies dispassionately. Her lack of excitement over the subject doesn't affect her mastery, which is significant. Fairy proficiency is 5.75. Alright. Let's do ghost. Well, actually, I'm a little advanced for ghost since I'm not getting a bunch of since my cap is actually quite higher than my potential right now. So let's do, let's see. Bugs at 18. Can't do bug again. So let's go do, cause if I can catch, I would love to catch a snow run if possible. So let's go to ice class today. Hey, Ethan. Hiccup, good to see you. Let's get this done. You spot a familiar student and go to greet him. Hey, Grusha. Oh, you're here too. You seem less than enthused. Give me a break. I like my privacy. I'd love nothing more than to fly under the radar for the rest of the year. Kind of hard to do that when I'm out with Hiccup, wielder of Frenergy, battle team ace, and unfixable attention magnet. Attention magnet? You know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend you don't love the eyes of the world. I don't blame you for that. I did too, once. Oh, those were the days. But that time is over for me. Now I know it's much smarter to shun them all. That seems defeatist. Sure, things can come to a nasty head during the student council election, but things turned around. I got to explain the truth. A stumble. When you're up on the slope, you never fall the first time. It's just a stumble. Then you straighten up and you think you've got it. That's when the real fall happens. Become a popular enough underdog and you become the establishment. And the people who cheered you up the mountain will laugh as you come crashing down. Failure follows everyone like a reaper with a blade. You really want to bring an audience with you when she catches up? 
I can't say I know what the point of succeeding without an audience is. It's safer. That's the only point there is. But it's a good one. I don't know your story. I don't know where you're coming from, and I'm sure this makes a lot of sense from your perspective. But from my perspective, it sounds like you're being needlessly pessimistic. Even after everything you went through with the student council? Hmm, maybe you're made of tougher stuff than I am. I'll stay in my cold shadows, I think. The shadows are where I was molded. Or maybe I'll convince you that attention isn't that bad? <laughs> so you say. You leave Grusha and head to your spot with Ethan. A comet is flying ice. A brilliant star that burns itself into nothingness. Everyone loves the spectacle of destruction. When you've destroyed yourself, I couldn't bear to hear their cheers again. But maybe, for you, there's a chance they'll cheer again. Okay, uh... Good afternoon, you delectable sherberts. You've all grown so big since the last time I saw you. Now, it's a bit chilly in here, so why don't we all push our chairs into a circle while we do the reading? Class proceeds without incident. Class is over, blah blah blah, points up with everybody. Ice proficiency is nine. I'll take it. I'll take it. And, oh, it appears that the lecture is over a bit before the bell. Well, I'm loath to let you kids go before the bell rings, but... Well, I suppose there's nothing too wrong with a couple extra minutes. Go off, then, and remember to study for your test tomorrow. It'll be a doozy. Even if Professor Oak is saying it's a doozy, this could be pretty serious. <sighs> Huh? Oh, don't come in! I'm naked! Oh, right. Me and Brendan would be around to pick up his stuff. Coming! Oh, hey, guys! Hello, Hiccup. You look... well. Sorry, this is a tad awkward. We haven't really had a proper chance to chat since before the student council elections. Yeah, sorry about that, by the way. Think nothing of it. We all played our foolish parts, some of more than others, <laughs> but you are definitely in the lesser category. Man, I just want to say I'm really sorry for doubting you. I totally believed what Sharon was saying. Well, to be fair, what Sharon was saying was right. It wasn't mind control, but he never claimed it was. Uh, not that I'm accusing you of anything. I mean... You did keep a secret from us, but I fully understand why a person in your situation would. I mean, I wouldn't have, but it's not that I hold it against you or anything. I simply... Bruh. Yeah? You keep digging that hole, you're gonna hit the other side of the planet. Noted. I'll shut up now. So, hey, I gotta ask. Uh, do you have some of my stuff in here? Oh, yes, mine too. Yeah, Blue was a bit too excited to pack my stuff, it looks like. Blue? Not Snotlout? Someone had to be the bigger man, honestly. I personally would continue to call him Snotlout after that level 2 scene. Guy's got a major victim complex. Hmm. Come on, let's go to my room. You can pick up your stuff there. So, this is where the magic happens. Dude, your new dorm is freaking sweet. Nah, it's just a regular suite. Ah, yes, there's my jacket, my wristwatch. Oh dear, that definitely shouldn't be put out, be out in the open. Yeah, let's grab our stuff. Caleb and Brendan gather armfuls of their possession, though it looks like it's going to take multiple trips. Aw, oh, man. Miss gonna be pretty mad if I can't find it. What's wrong? There's meant to be a hot pink suitcase here. It's got some, uh, some stuff that me and I have. Uh, don't worry about it, dude. It's it's nothing. Right. May mention that. 
I don't think I've seen it, though. It sounds like it'd stand out. Yeah, probably. Maybe my roommates have seen it. I'm taking some extra lessons. What is it? Extra lessons? You? What, you thought it was some... What, you thought I was this awesome naturally? Ha! <laughs> no wonder you're such a loser. <laughs> I'm so cool. I've got to confess, I never put too much thought into it. Yeah, anyway, I'm trying to figure out how the hell dragon types survive at the lower levels. It just doesn't... Mr. Oak, is there something you want to share with the class? Crap, what is it? Uh, pink suitcase. Ethan's room. Well, it's in Ethan's room, apparently. Let's go. Oh, that's fortuitous. We wanted to talk to Ethan as well. I think he was a little bit mad at us for leaving dorm 151. Hey, Hiccup, you're not mad at us, are you? Uh... I mean, in the long run, no. I'm a little... A little bothered by it, but... Uh, for the most part, no. Even so, you have every right to be. I'm sorry, I know that I'm situated in my new dorm with Sabrina, Serena and Brendan. I wouldn't want to leave, but I understand how you must feel. I can only offer my heartfelt apologies. Really, dude, it's alright, I get it. You had no idea if I was even coming back, and I know you, Serena, have your own thing happening. Actually, dude, what is that thing you and Serena have going on? Are you finally dating? Finally? No, we're not dating. We're just cohabitating. Uh, isn't that the, the same thing? Alright, I'm pretty sure that's what you start doing after you've been dating for a while, but maybe things are different in Kalas. Yeah, yes. Yes, they are. That's what we'll go with. Hmm. Okay, so, uh, tell me if I'm crossing any lines here, but what base have you gotten to? I, my aim is not bases, Brendan. My aim is to understand and help Serena more than I could previously as a true friend. Okay, so you're still at home base, right? I am still at home base, yes. But again, I'm not particularly trying to hit the ball. I only want an emotional connection with it. I didn't think my metaphor was that inescapable. Whatever, man. I don't get it. But as long as you both are getting what you want, that's all I need to know. <laughs> right. So, where is Ethan's room? Oh, right. Come on. Oh, hey. I just got back from classes. What are you doing here? Some of our stuff got mixed up with blues. He said that he uh put... He put a hot pink suitcase in your room, and that was mine. Oh yeah, that explains it. Wait, why did Blue think the girly suitcase was mine? He put everything else in Hiccup's room. You've seen it, brah? Sure, I just shoved it underneath my bed. Awesome! Okay, uh, just to be sure, you didn't, like, look in it, did you? Um, maybe? Damn, that's embarrassing. You won't tell anybody, will you? Nah, you're good. I wouldn't want anyone to know about all the embarrassing sexual things that are in there. Oh boy, what I wouldn't give to tell everybody about it. Alright, you guys, you said you wanted to talk to Ethan, right? Mind if I step out? I've got some stuff I want to do before the evening is over. Of course, go ahead. See you later, bruh. Alright. Not sure if I want to do level up scenes now, but I suppose I might try to do a level up scene. Wait, who have I got? Whitney and Skyla. Mm. I don't think they give Everalls that I need, so I can wait for that. Hang on. Hehe. <laughs> 69. Nice. Anyway, something that I want to do, uh, I want to see if maybe I can catch some other Pokemon really quick. See where I can... Oh! Or...
Okay. I could go try and rescue Tia now. But I don't think... Let's see what these people have to say about this particular part of the forest really quick. Because if I can... If I can go in better prepared... Because I don't know if it's a case of... They won't let me have a chance to change my team or not. But let's see what they say. Alright, let's go. The Tia Untrapment team is ready to roll out. Untrapment? You try coming up with a word that means rescue and begins with T. Does everyone have everything they need? I've got some bandages and antiseptics in case we get bonked by anything in there, but we should still be careful. I looked ahead. According to the old forum post from a former student, this part of the forest is called the Shattered Glades? Whoa, edgy name. Why? There's a bunch of really hard ironwood trees in this part of the forest. Fighting types gather to train here by punching the trees and they end up smashing trees all over the place. Of course, there's also a bunch of grass types. It is a forest. Hmm. Alright, so Hiccup, you probably want to turn Shock John to a fairy type or maybe a flying type if you can? Yeah, okay. Alright, enough standing around. Are we going to do this thing? Uh, give me just a minute, actually. Okay, so knowing all of that, um, I want to check my team or what I've got in the city first at the PC. Let's see. Okay, what have I got? Got this weird thing that I don't care about. Rhinox, Azula, Thunder Thigh, Azulong, several times, and Tarantulas. Okay, so... Okay, so... There's going to be a bunch of fighting types there, uh, which means my ghosts aren't going to be nearly as effective, I think. And I don't have any flying types per se. Um... For this, I definitely think I should switch out. Yeah, I know, but. <sighs> I don't know how to switch Pokemon. Great. Uh, maybe if I, there we go. Okay. Now, I don't have any fairy types. I don't have any flying types. I've got a couple of fire. What's good against fighting? Apart from flying. That would be psychic, flying, and fairy. Okay. I don't have any psychic types, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this might be a difficult fight. Okay. Uh, first things first, get rid of the Everall. Because that's just not going to help. What do I have? I've got a... Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with the obtained ones. Okay. Is that really all I have? 
That's not, not great. Maybe it's just better to Is there any way to hang on a sec? There's no way for me to add moves here. Great. Okay, maybe I do need an Everall of some kind. Is it a case of ghosts or fighting types are immune to ghost? Let's see. Fighting is immune to ghost. Great. So that's not going to be a good time for me. Um, I'm going to take Tarantulas with... I'll use this on Shakja. Teach it confusion. All PPs equalized. Okay, what does that put my Pikachu at? Okay, I've still got 57 liberation limit. Okay, let's t see if there's anything else I can do for 57. Mm. My options are Sing, Camouflage, and Mean Luck. Or I could do... No, that's a dumb idea. They're, gra they're grass types. Mm. I'll go with Sing for now. Okay. Alright, well, unfortunately, looking at the typing, I don't have anything that'll give me an advantage here. Um... And unfortunately, most of my Pokemon, the levels that they have just aren't high enough for me to really be able to pull anything off as far as levels go. So I think <sighs> potions would be nice. So let's see. Let's grab 10. And then, yeah. Yeah, this will be fine. Okay. All right, this is it. Time to try and rescue Tia, I think. All right. Untrapment. All right, let me just save really quick. Tia rescue. Hopefully this goes a little bit better than last time with Will's dungeon, but uh, we will see. Okay, 13 minutes in. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm ready. She helped us out, Hiccup. Now it's our turn. 
I'm responsible for Tia, so I've got to pull her out of whatever trouble she's in. She's our little sister. We got to take care of her. Time to wake up and smell the coffee. Although, to be honest, I'm still having some difficulty believing she's a dragon. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. All right. It's a physical. Um... Okay. All right. Let's try and get... Hang on, do I have anything that would be good against this? It is a s fighting and psychic. My ghost won't do anything because fighting is immune to ghosts. Let's try and engage it. Can I not? I was under the impression. Okay, here we go. Okay, we've done a decent amount of damage. Let's see if I can engage the enemy. Okay, this is good. This is good so far. If I can just get out of here as quickly as possible, that would be preferable. I don't know if this is the case, but it did feel like Okay. I will admit it did feel like going through the <sighs> Um what am I trying to say? The dungeons felt randomized. I don't know if that's the case all the time, but that's what it felt like. Trouble and Milty. Let's see. Alright, let's try Ardent Gaze, and then... Are you kidding me? You don't have any... Any uh, fairy type moves. Let me check the Pokemon. Doctor, Doctor. What is that? Okay, disarming voice. That's a fairy move. I know that. Sunny side. Okay, and Queenie, who's psychic fairy and has disarming voice. Okay, let's switch out for... Actually, let's see how this one holds up for now. Did I just one-shot it? I was not expecting that. But then again, I wasn't expecting to expect something, so it doesn't count. Okay. 
Ah, there's the way down. Okay. Let's use an orange berry. No! You cannot fight me. I shall desert you in the dust, yes. Or you could come down the stairs after me. That That's great, too. Okay. In that case, I want to get your health down as much as possible. Okay. Leaf, your turn. You know, I'm starting to think that maybe I couldn't do the special with Flannery because she was literally right next to it, even though it was one square away. Or diagonally, I should say. <sighs> okay. I'm going to catch that manky. I'm going to catch it, and I will name it Optimus. And then it will be Optimus Primeape. Let's see. All right. I want ghost light out here really quick. Get Tarantulas out. was kind of not expecting it to go over too well. All right, Mozart, get out here. Okay, now is the chance to use regular Pokeball. Uh-huh. Yes. And Dang it. Okay, let's try one more time. If it doesn't go down here, it's gonna be dead. Alright. Pokeball shakes, and... Yes! Alright. Um...
I don't have a revive, so I'm just gonna send Tarantulas back to the PC. I will name you... Optimus. That way, when you evolve, you will be Optimus Primeape. Now then. Okay. Gotta heal up really quick. Use it again on Optimus. Let's use it on our other party members too. All right, and then we'll eat this. Hopefully there's a chance to get more stuff that replenishes our belly. Okay, that apple. Actually, let's see something really quick. Okay, she can reach the Makuhita from here. That's good. Glad Whitney came along. All right, let's get that apple and restore some belly. All right. Okay. Flannery, can you take a shot at this thing from here? Or is he out of your range? Okay, it looks like he's out of range for now. So... Okay. Now we can attack from a distance. Because I engaged it. Damn it. I didn't. I would have thought that um, attacking it in the regular mode first and then going to fully engage it would have brought its health down into this fight. I guess not. Uh, that feels weird. So just throwing that out there. This actually might be a good strap.
Oh yeah, I taught my Pikachu confusion. Right. Excellent. <sighs> that was definitely not worth it. could follow me down that <clears throat> that's cool all right leaf I guess you're up why do they get to use like multiple Pokemon and I'm stuck with one that doesn't seem very fair Anyway, mud slap on Mankey, use Dragon Rage, and oh, Bad Breath badly poisons if it can't. Alright, you know what? Let's do that. You know what? That works. Anywho... Ah, yes, there we go. Okay. From a distance. Kill it with fire! And then we do it again! Okay. I don't know if this is going to be the last floor, but just in case it isn't, I'm eating the berry. Alright. Yep, it's not the last floor. Great. Okay. Awesome. No, you do not get to fight me! You can take this thing, right? Yeah, I'm gonna assume you can take it. Mm, of course it's protected. Let's try that again. It's going to protect. Endure. Okay. What is this? 
black belt. Well, I can't do anything with that, I think. Or can I? Can I eat it? Let's see what happens with one. This item is not eligible, though you gave it the old college try. Okay, good to know. So what does it do? I'll give it to Optimus. Not sure what that does. Let's see. It'd be great if it told me what it did. Just throwing that out there. Otherwise, it's like, what's the point? Alright. Yeah. Belly's getting dangerously low. Okay. Actually, okay, apparently I can't get out of no, I can. All right, let's have Whitney go in here. And end my turn. Whew! Okay, good, good. Still alive. Okay. Please let this be the last floor. It's not... I'm, I don't know if I can take another hit. Flannery, if you would be so kind. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, yes, that's what I need! Get some belly back. Alright. Let's try going this way. Let's get Hiccup over here. Move Whitney to right within his range. And just in case, move Flannery into attack range too. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this now. Please let this be the final floor. Finally! Okay, we're out of it. Wow, we made it through! Wasn't that great? No, I never want to do that again. My feet hurt and I'm all sweaty and a million different branches poked me and I hate the wild! Whitney, I'm not the biggest fan of the outdoors either, but you aren't... aren't you being... a bit tough on Mother Nature? 
No, Mother Nature's a bitch. I never want to see her ever again. I mean, we still need to go back after we find Tia. Right, for Tia. Mm. Wait, oh wow, our job just got a lot easier. Wait, do you mean... Ra, ra to la to to us. Oh no, what's happening to her? Why is she screaming like that? It's like she's being possessed. Tia. Holy shit, she actually is a dragon. La to to to. La to us? Uh, 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 she's coming right for us. Watch out! Shit, that hurt. Why, why did you jump in front of her like that? Come on, what part of that was out of character for me? That was dumb, Leaf. It was tactical. You're a better battler than me. Uh, she's coming around for another swipe. So, battle! Come on, let's save our friend. Okay, thank you. I- woof. Okay, well, there's a, uh, Galarian Mr. Mime. Cool. Thankfully, it is an ice type, and I've got Larvesta out. So, let's see here. Let's use Ardent Gaze on Tia really quick. Do everything we can to get rid of that Mr. Mime. Okay. Alright, let's keep our other guys alive for as long as possible. Use Flame Burst again. Okay, Mr. Mime's gone. Chime Echo. Oh, right. Tia's got technically Pokemon. She's a trainer, as it were. Okay. Try using defense curl. Um, it is a psychic type, so it would be a good idea to switch out for Mozart. Let's see, magnitude. I'm pretty sure that affects everybody. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea. Mm, let's try and burn this Chime Echo. Okay, I think now might be a good time to switch out for Milty, I think. Okay, let's start using Fury Cutter. Can't use that on Tia yet. So, let's just get ready for the next attack. Noibat, huh? a dragon flying? 
Okay, might be a good time to switch out Nummel. Mm, let's go with... Let's see what have we got here? This sounds like a good idea. Dang it. Alright, well, um... No, that's not a good idea. Let's try some ghost moves, actually. Tia is psychic type. Okay, let's use Astonish actually. Come on, let me use Nightshade. Um... Awesome. Love getting that off. All right, T is down. <sighs> okay, this went a lot better this time around. It's probably going to try and protect itself. can't do it twice. Not in a row. Alright. Pikachu's liberation limit went up. Did we... Did we hit her too hard? Nah, she's fine. She's just fainted. So
Makes their way back to the infirmary, battered and bruised. You arrive once more at the infirmary. Oh! Tia, you remember what to do, right, hun? Tia nods politely and lies down on a bed. You notice that several seconds after her body lies on the bed, there's a creak of mattress springs. You rest up, okay, Tia? And sleep well. Yeah, get better soon, and then you can come back to the dorm and hang out with us again. I've been working hard on that story you requested. I can't wait to share it when you get back. Hooray! I'm sorry, but the infirmary has a strict one visitor at a time limit. Would you three, would three of you mind stepping out for a moment? I'd just like to ask some questions about the patient from the fourth of you, if that's all right. Sure, I can answer. Again. Sure thing, miss. I'll see you later then, Miss Miriam. And I'll see you later, Hiccup. I think the conquering hero deserves a reward. What are you thinking? Cookies. Not gonna lie, that'd be really nice, actually. <clears throat> Your companions leave the room. Hi, Miss Miriam. I'm back. That's unfortunate. A nurse is never happier than when she has no work to do and can just sit back with a nice book. I'm going to ask you the same questions you heard last time. Can you describe the nature of the injuries the patient sustained? Same stuff as last time. A few bumps and scrapes, but also confusion, disorientation, headaches. Hmm. Any ideas, Nurse Miriam? Yes, I'm fairly confident my patients have been hypnotized. What? It's a form of short-term hypnosis that wears off after time. Long-term hypnosis is a much more complicated affair. But it seems whoever did this didn't ca want to cause lasting damage. Seems the shock of being defeated in battle was enough to snap them out of it. Well, that's a lucky coincidence. What interests me more is how they were able to survive for so long without any obvious source of food or water. I need more cases to form... I need more cases to come to a firm conclusion. But obviously, I don't want that. Well, I'm sure after a nice long nap, Teal will be right as rain and back to being my best student. Your best student? Yes, she's polite, eager to learn, enthusiastic for the work we do here, and has a healing power like yellow. What are the odds that we'd get two students who have the healing touch this year? That's normal? Um, no, it's not normal at all. That's why I said it was unlikely that we'd have two this year. But abnormal doesn't mean bad. Now, thank you for delivering another patient to my dorm, safe if not sound. I said dorm. What did she say? To my door. I plan to do it once more. Beg your pardon? Jasmine is no longer joyful. Okay. Well, that was a success. No deaths this time around. <clears throat> Good morning, students. Who is ready to continue our survey into the history of champions? Wait. Mr. Von Schwarzdraken? Don't say that. It sounds ridiculous. I want to know about Hiccup Knight's Pikachu. You obviously know more about it than any of us. Possibly except him. Oh, well, uh, I don't think that's entirely relevant to the course I'm teaching right now. It's relevant to battle and relevant to our chances in the Pokemon League. Our first day here, you said only a third of us would qualify. That number will be even lower if we don't know what our opponents can do. You're a teacher. Teach us. I, w well, I, um... Mm. Yeah, you could have just asked me, Hilbert. You would tell us? What? I didn't expect that. Thank you. 
You quickly explain to the class what you know about Shockjaw, with Professor Oak chiming in to provide details occasionally. Hmm. Of course the freak would have a freaky Pokemon. You think he controls his Pokemon too? Probably in a special privilege. You're really going to come out and tell everybody, huh? I've learned my lesson. No more secrets. Damn, you're cool. Ah, well, it seems that we may have gotten slightly distracted. No matter. We'll pick this up during our next lesson. Don't forget to prepare for your tests tomorrow. Alright. Let's see here. Um, I'm probably going to end up putting Optimus back unless he's going to be... Or, excuse me, she is going to be good in the next fight to save Sabrina. I'm guessing she's going to have a lot of Psychic and Ghost types. Maybe even Dark. So, let's see. What have I got here? Cap is needing to go up. Let's get go er bug. There, I know how to talk. I swear. Ethan, hiccup. General studies, please. Inspiration. Bug types sure are inspiring, aren't they? Class proceeds without incident. Class is over. Points with everybody, which reminds me, I want to check out my socials. Okay, I've got a level two scene with Jasmine. How do I do that? I might take some time to do that. Jasmine's nice. And here comes Drayden over the intercom. This is Drayden. Reminder, don't go into the forest. You'll be in trouble and get expelled. I'm going to say this every day till you suckers get it. So Life Orb on a Pokemon with Sheer Force gives you all the benefits of the item with none of the downsides. Do keep that in mind, it's a useful combo that's very easy to pull off. Now, it's time for the battles. Bruno? Uh, I'm probably gonna butcher this. Eh. Que bueno verte. Same to you, I assume. Grusha, are you well enough to battle today? As far as I can tell. Hmm... Hiccup, your opponent will be Grusha. You're probably sick and tired of people talking about your speech, your Pikachu, or your power. I'm sick of people asking if I'm okay and pretending to care that I didn't get to be some student council whatever. Yeah, I'll skip that. Finalmente. Anyway, I saw what you did to Dawn. Yeah? What you did was cold, made a mockery of her, all her training, all her power, in front of the entire school. Hey, I... Chill, I liked it, and it's not like you had a choice anyway. Eh, you should see the people on the internet are saying about you and her, though. They're calling her Altalier Jawbird. That doesn't seem very nice, even if I have no idea what that means. People say that the internet's anonymity gives people the freedom to be dicks without repercussions. But I've seen people be dicks to each other face to face, so... I don't know, maybe people are just trash. Is depressing me part of your battle strategy? Uh... Maybe... No, but I'm... I might keep it in the back of my pocket for the future. Your scarf! Are you... Gets hard to breathe with it on. Harder to yell commands, too. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's go. One request. Don't make this exciting. Sure? I, I'm not sure how to even begin to do what you just requested. Um, I have no idea what a Citadel is. Well, I'll just use Struggle Bug on everybody. And... It's Will-O-Wisp the Swablu. 
Bodica leveled up. Mozart leveled up. Nice. Artin! It's not very effective, not very effective. And it looks like it's regular on the Swablu. Which... Right, it's not a... I have no idea what's going on. Try Ember on Citadel and use. Okay, bug type moves aren't effective on these first two, so. Let's just try Fury Cutter for now and Nightshade on Swablu. Oh! I'll take that. Odica is down. Okay, so this thing is a rock type. Yuri, get out of here. We could use your help. Alright, use the Razor Leaf. You're asleep, so you're not going to be very much help. Let's get Optimus out here. And use... Ember on the Delivery. Dag nabbit! Shock jaw? I love being put to sleep the second I come out. Um. Still got safeguard on, so that's not going to be effective. Frickin' hell! Sure, why not? Stupid deli bird. Worse. Stupid feckin' dollar bird. Yes, everyone got experience. Yay, yay, yay. Hmm. Well, I did ask you not to make it exciting. Uh, Jasmine told me that you, uh, stood up for me. Or at least told Jasmine you didn't think I had mind powers. Yeah, well, I was obviously wrong about that. Whatever, the point is you're not evil. I got that part right at least. Thanks. I do what I can. He's kind of hard to talk to, huh? Getting kind of chilly in here. I'm outsies. That'll be all for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. That sucked hard. Hey, uh... Hey, what's up? The sky, last time I checked. It does tend to stay up. I think it's got a bunch of balloons keeping it up there. Balloons? Are you crazy? You can't hold up an entire sky with balloons. Besides, they'd go into space and pop. Oh, yeah? 
What is it then? The sky is obviously balanced on top of Blue's ego. A solid, invisible, unbreakable force that's the size of the entire world. Probably a good thing that he never seems to get discouraged then. We might all be crushed. Yep, he's a hero. Man, you're crazy. You know you love me. Hey, save that kind of talk for after our date. We already live in the same dorm. People might talk. Hmm. What? You know, I actually don't know why we're in the same dorm. I assume because Falconer thought it would be funny to put us all together. Maybe. Anyway, what's up? Well, I'm thinking of switching classes. Really? Yeah, I think I can do it. Maybe not permanently, and I don't think I want to do anything crazy. I don't want to do the crazy thing you and Ethan are doing, but I'm seriously considering it. Okay, which classes? I'm thinking of ditching Dragon for normal. I already told Blue about my plan, and he said, quote, Thank God, maybe now Instructor Claire won't have to stop a lesson every five seconds to yell at you. Which is totally inaccurate and unfair, by the way. She yells at everyone. Well, not him, I guess. Well, if you want to swap, that's up to you. I guess you won't... I guess you want to pay a bit more attention to your new Jigglypuff. Pretty much. She's a pretty easy train, all things considered. But I don't know a lot about her species. Hopefully Instructor Lenora can teach me more about her. Any particular reason you didn't go for Fairy? That's one of Jigglypuff's types, too. Just to have more experience with normal type Pokemon. Hmm. Drampa, Helioptile. Yeah, I can see it. Wait, what about... What about your Dratini? I do not like that look. Okay, now, please don't be mad, but... Oh my god, you're letting Blue train it? Yes. Leaf? Look, it wasn't my idea. Dratini wanted it. Ever since Blue borrowed Dratini last Wednesday, she's been trying to sneak into Blue's bag. Honestly, I was kind of offended at first, but... I mean, just one afternoon with Blue made her way stronger, so I can kind of understand where she's coming from. Anyway, she's still my Dratini and always will be while we're all still breathing. Man, does that mean the next time I fight Blue, I'm going to have to fight your Dratini too? Maybe? Ugh. Well, thanks for the heads up, at least. What's that sound? Did I just hear something fly over the school? Yeah, I thought I heard that something's wings, like, flapping. Sounds like it's coming from the garden. Are we checking it out? I mean, obviously. Oh, boy. You emerge, you emerge into the garden and blink up at the sky. Your eyes are still adjusting to the light, so it's hard to make out. But, ah! Kneeling above you is a strange man dressed in a familiar outfit. He lets out a soft breath and licks his lips as he looks you over. Something about his hungry gaze sends chills down your spine. Well, 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 look who I just dropped in on. The Kobukan Pikachu Wielder, Slayer of the Jobird. J Jobird? Wait, you're... You're from the internet! The mystical land of all memes and... Nerdwellery. <laughs> That's not far off, actually. Want me to get off? That's a very tricky question to answer, given my current position. Sharp too. Guess your victory wasn't a fluke. Uh, uh, Raihan? Big fan. I follow your Rotophoto account. Um, what are you doing here, kneeling on my date? Not much besides that. Oh, this is a good one. First steps in Kobukon? First friends met? Gotta memorialize this one. Smile for the selfie, you two! Friends? Raihan pulls out a stylish-looking smartphone and flips it around, grinning at it. Uh, sure. Uh, 
Nice. Might even post this one. Feels more important than a photographer like me could do justice to. Hey, Leaf, you called this guy Raihan. Do you know him? You don't... Oh, no, of course you don't. This is Raihan. He's the strongest gym leader in the Galar region. He's fought Leon more than anyone else. He's strong enough to be a champion in any other region. Plus, he got this really popular Roto photo account where he posts pictures and videos of himself in battles and during meals and, uh, pool parties. His fans are called the Fang Gang. Hey, you are a fan. But why are you here in Kobukan? Uh, yeah, hey, I'm a bit busy right now. Don't really have time to answer all these questions. Influencer shit, you know how it is. Always gotta cheese that clout around the corner. I have no idea what the hell you just said. Now, where can I talk to the guy in charge of this place? That would be me, young man. Shit, uh, hey, uh... May I ask what you think you're doing, flying into my school in the middle of the day? No appointment, no forewarning, no introduction. Uh, in my defense, I was just asking who was in charge. I wanted to talk with you. And who are you to ask this of me, Drayden, in the middle of my workday? Drayden, huh? Wow. Uh, I guess you weren't a fan then, huh? Uh, my name's Raihan, 8th gym leader of the Galar region. The strongest member of the Galarian League, aside from Leon, you know. <clears throat> the name is familiar. So, Raihan, 8th gym leader of Galar and strongest member of the Galarian League, aside from Leon. May I ask you for the courtesy of an explanation as to what you are doing here? <clears throat> Got a bunch of reasons. <laughs> Heard Sonya finally stuck her head up out of the dunes, and I'd like to reconnect with my old circle. <clears throat> Raihan looks pointedly in your direction. Besides, I need to talk to this guy. You did see what his Pikachu did, right? That might be just the kind of thing that gets me over Leon. And you thought that doing this now, in the middle of the school day, would be the best way to achieve these goals. Our school was very recently attacked, and a student is still missing. Perhaps you can understand why it would be a bit... twitchy, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I I'm sorry, mate. I didn't know that. <clears throat> Lance, it appears your skill is not needed here. You may take your leave. Wait, Lance, that's you? I am he... Bloody hell! Yo, Lance! I knew I'd seen you before. You're my hero, mate. There must be some sort of mistake. No mistake, Lance. You're you've got the world You've got the world record for the most league challenge attempts. Nah. Well I'm coming for your record. My failures are nothing to emulate. Nah, nah, it's not that. You kept back getting back up over and over. And then you won. Twice. You're my idol. I even get my train, my gym trainers to dress like you. That's not weird or anything, is it? About that. I wear the honorable dress of a draconian knight of the Blackthorn Dragon Clan. To see the patterns and emblems of my ancient ancestors emblazoned on this sportswear is no trifling insult. I happen to notice it's on your clothing as well. Lance, I think you may be missing the point of this boy's sentiment. If he sees anything within me worthy of emulation, then it is he who misses the point. I take my leave. Well, that went to pot. Apologies for Lance's irascible... Apologies for him being a douche. However, his temper does not remove the fact that you ought not to be here. Flying over the gates as you did is absolutely not permitted. I can fly back over, then walk through the front if you want, but it sounds like a bit of a bother. I would request that you fly back over and stay over. If you wish to talk to certain students, you can make plans to meet up with them in Inspra. Off-campus grounds, young man! Aw, oh, come on, mate. 
Don't be like that. Why did I give him Australian? Tell you what, I got a bit of a following. I'll put in a good word for you if you let me hang around for a bit, eh? This is a historic centuries-old school. Our programs are world-famous and more of our alumni are champions than Blueberry and Nern Juve Academies put together. May I ask how you could possibly put in a good word for us that is not already aware of our accomplishments? Uh, uh, give me a moment. Uh, right. Isn't Chairman Rose a board member here? Well, yes. I suppose my reputation with the board could do with some aggrandizement in light of recent events. There we go, mate. N knew we could do something for each other. However, this agreement is conditional. Yeah, go on. Chairman Rose has been hinting that he is considering launching an inquiry into how this school has been run. I would have you attend classes, join clubs. I would ask that you treat this experience as though you were just another student. And then I would ask that you report back to the esteemed Chairman Rose honestly about how, what you have experienced. Seriously, I can be in and out. It's no problem. Come on, I'm the Great Raihan. I don't need to go to school. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you did you not attempt to win the last Galarian Champions Cup with a team that utilized four different types of weather? Well, I, 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 mate, I was trying something different. Lose to Leon 12 times and anyone start th thinking outside the box. I understand that Galarians do not typically undertake formal education in Pokemon training, but I must insist it would benefit you. There's no doubt you are a powerful trainer, but even the child champion of Unova attends her middle school during the day. A thorough education exercises soft skills that you may have no other opportunity to develop. Such as humility, Great Raihan. Alright, alright, I get it. You don't need to go on. Look, I was planning on making this a get in, get out kind of thing. I'm not going to need to pay a full year's tuition, am I? You only need to pay for tuition as long as you are here. Great. So, uh, how much is that per day? Finances have been a little tight ever since I bought that new muscle cart. It was a risky purchase, but the click-throughs on that post were so worth it. Your first tuition payment will be due on the 4th of October. I may suggest that you not buy any new cars until that time. But with a gym leader's salary, I see no reason you should struggle to pay. Of course, perhaps I'm getting too ahead of myself. You still need to pass the ex entrance exam, after all. Well, I hold on. I didn't know there was any kind of entrance exam. Well, of course there is. We wouldn't admit a student to this academy without proof positive. They will not waste our instructor's time. My innate gym leader of... Yes, yes, I know. It's gym leader of Galar. You did mention. Now, in any case, this should be a very simple exam to pass for someone of your pedigree. Just defeat Mr. Knight here. What? What, again? You serious, mate? As the grave, Mr. Raihan. As the grave. But this guy's just a kid, you know? I don't expect that you are any more than a couple years older than him, no? You know what I'm saying? Don't dismiss me. Huh? Mate, it's not that. I totally respect who you are. It's just, uh... Well, ah, you got me on the defensive. Nice blow. Nice. Hey, Knight, I saw you battle with Berlitz, and it was some serious shit you pulled off. Impressive, but the raw numbers aren't there. Who's Berlitz? Drayden, I'm not a bully, and I'm not going to go out all out against a student. One might point out that this student has had more battle education than you, but I concede your point. This was a test anyway. Ah, so you wanted me to turn down the battle. Sneaky. It'll pass. Oh no, you're still going to battle, Mr. Knight, but perhaps now, in the middle of lunch, is not the proper time for that. You have until class cessation to prepare a team that you think will allow you to face Mr. Knight on equal footing. I may suggest heading to the fields. I've been told the Cyclozar population there is strong and plentiful. Cyclozar? Okay, that's only a few as, but I think I can manage this. Then, after you finish your evening classes... Will you join us in the battle hall, Mr. Knight? I will gladly refer your referee your battle myself. 
But sure, I can't miss the opportunity to battle an actual gym leader after all. One more thing, Mr. Raihan. It is true that Mr. Hiccup... It is true that Hiccup is as much less experienced battler than you. Do not do him the discourtesy of bringing a team that cannot pull their own weight. Wouldn't dream of it, mate. The great Raihan always goes 110%, no matter what. He literally just said he wasn't going to fight me with his real team. Excellent. Now, I imagine Lance should be back any moment now. Huh? I thought he just bugged off because he didn't fancy my outfit. Yes, well, Lance is never one to make his intentions clear. Rye. Hey, Ness. It's good to see you again. Oh, it's good to see... Model, model, thug. It's good to see you again. Right, what are you... Why didn't you tell us you were coming? That... Oh, fuck. All these accents are throwing me off. Ness only just told me that you were... Ness only just told me that you were here, Sonny. I came as soon as I heard, of course. Besides, I was hoping to surprise you. Well, considering... Consider me surprised, you cad. What are you doing here? Didn't you know? I'm a student. Well, I will be after our defeat not here. You want to fight Hiccup using your gym leader team? Nah, I'm going to go out and catch some others. Pardon me, what is this? You need to defeat Mr. Knight in order to become a student? Yeah, it's kind of a pain, but whatever. I wanted to battle this guy anyway. Lance's eyes drill into yours as he stares unblinking. Look, hey man, this is not my fault. I had nothing to do with this. Come to think of it, this is the first time since Friday we've been face to face, isn't it? Man, I can't imagine how furious he is. That's really ridiculous. Oh, advice on Lance. The thanks for um getting us here. I think he's gone, Sonny. It's really great to see you two again. What have you been up to? And Sonny, where the bloody hell did you get off to? Oh, well, that's a bit of a tricky question, honestly. But uh, the short of it is, I was still here. You cut me when you left, you know. Thought I'd done something wrong. Thought we all had. Oh, right, you definitely did something wrong. But you didn't have anything to do with Sonny this time. Right, man, you're just hating because I'm prettier than you. I think you find that's the reason I tolerate you. Eh, but nah, really, what's up? You called me out of here for a reason, right? Oh, wait, should we do this in private? Nah, Hiccup's already in this. I called you out because I thought we needed your help rescuing a missing student. Huh? She's lost in the woods, has been for a few days. There's a bigger story, but the long of it is that the forest is full of grass types and I'm basically dead weight in there. You know, I know you love how... I know you love to brag about how well hard you are. What? Thought you might be able to put this stone head of yours to use and help us. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the woods when I was flying over. Didn't look like there was anything too challenging there, but I see why you have trouble, Ness. This is dual proficiencies of rock. <clears throat> Ness's dual proficiencies of rock and water leave her very vulnerable to grass types. Alright, so when do we start this thing? Tonight. Assuming you can even beat Hiccup, of course. He's not only the wielder of the Liberation Form Pikachu, he's also a member of the Kubicom battle team. Ah, God? Well, I guess I'm looking forward to our battle even more now, man. Night. Don't leave me hungry. The great Raihan's got quite an appetite. Matched only by his ego. Come on, let's show you around the place for a bit before you become an official student. And maybe you could tell me how you're paying for it? All right, you return to the cafeteria somewhat bewildered by the sudden arrival of this strange new character. And I think, I think now is a good time to end this particular video. It definitely went a little longer than I had initially planned. Was not expecting a new character introduction. So, uh, with that, we'll be taking classes and rescuing Sabrina in the next episode, hopefully since it is the hard dungeon. 
but we need to save our girl. Gotta save the, mo well, apart from Leaf, the most popular character in the game. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that the algorithm can bless me, as well as so you can be caught up on when I drop more videos. So, once again, I will talk with you all later, and that, as they say, is that.